OlympicTeam.com. A lot of times when people in the community see you in a wheelchair, they kind of treat you like you're made of glass and they're worried you're fragile and things like that. But in wheelchair rugby, it's kind of just high-speed bumper cars is a good, good way of thinking of it. I think that's why it probably has the name rugby is because of the uh, physical nature of the game. I mean, hitting and hitting hard. I um, broke three ribs. Let's see, broken ribs. What else? Concussions from landing, hitting my head. The occasional dislocated thumb, hand injuries. If you have fear, you don't play intensely, and you need to be intense out there. Meet the U.S. wheelchair rugby team. Wheelchair rugby, also known as quad rugby, is for athletes who are quadriplegics. Many people are familiar with wheelchair basketball, but those athletes are amputees or paraplegics who are only limited in the use of their legs. Quadriplegics have limited use of all four limbs, making it difficult for them to be competitive in wheelchair basketball. So in the early 80s, wheelchair rugby was invented. The rules for wheelchair rugby are slightly modified. First, they play on a hard gym surface instead of grass. Each team has four players on the court, and to score, they must simply get the ball across the goal line. The basic rules about the ball, the ball needs to cross the half-court line within 15 seconds on the inbound. You have to bounce the ball every 10 seconds or pass it to a teammate. In this sport, it isn't just the athletes who get injured, their wheelchairs take a beating. Guys are going to nail you from the side, and the axles are going to bend or even break, and you only have one minute to change the wheel. And so, so that's important, to be ready. Wheelchair rugby became a full medal event at the 2000 Paralympic Games in Sydney, and the Americans won the inaugural gold. You'll never feel that success until you win a gold medal match. And we felt it right there. And I can't put into words how exciting that is. There's, there's a definite drive to defend that medal. In every game we play, we want to play like we are the best team out there. Every team that you play is looking to knock you off of that pedestal. Andy Cohen is one of the younger players on the team, and although he didn't make it to Sydney, he's aiming for Athens. After getting cut in 2000, I really dedicated myself to getting in shape and working out all year as opposed to just during the season. And so, yeah, it did. Definitely kind of lit a fire. Steve Curley has been playing rugby for years, but has yet to compete at the Paralympics. He'd like to end his career with a Paralympic victory. The Paralympics, that's the, that's the big show. I, I couldn't think of a better way. I mean, that would be uh, the greatest experience in, in, in the world. There are now more than 45 organized quad rugby teams in the United States, and there are 23 international teams. Want to find out what's happening? Well, you're in luck.